the last episode. Oh no. The man is the victim of a long drop. But from where and why? What'd you find? A security card. This man was custodial staff, a janitor. Probably not our mindjacker's target then. Still, I don't think this was an accident. We need to find out what's going on here. I don't think he wanted to kill himself. Okay. I can't find anything else useful on him. Lau, your opinion? Did you just Max, kick him? Knock that off. <laughs> oh, sorry. What the hell well, is all wrong with you? He was definitely you? killed by the fall. Thanks. Real helpful. Really? No, I mean, he wasn't mind jacked. He doesn't have the same neuropathy associated with it. Hmm. So maybe Central was wrong. There's still a body, though. We need to find out what's going on. So Central did predict correctly that something would happen. And apparently one of the staff jumped to his death and gave us a keycard, which we'll, we, we will use right now. It's unlocked floor 26 for us. Must be where its owner was working. Damn it all. Burns all around the planar nodes and his wetware wiring. Yeah, this is our mind jacking victim. Central was right. The attack was recent, maybe minutes ago. The mindjacker was probably interrupted by the janitor who ended up on the street. There's only one other way out of here, to the roof. We need to get up there before he escapes again. So should we go now or later? I don't think we have access to the roof yet. We have key pads and doors and another body. His ID badge says Gerbach, Avery. He's an HR supervisor. If the Mindjacker's in corporate espionage, it's a pretty strange target. Have Central run his data. See if it can flag anything. Okay. Can I... Well, do I have to do that? Central? This is Regis. Come in, Central. Central standing by. Mindjacker victim, fall victim. Central, we have a bystander casualty. Doesn't appear to have been Mindjacked. So it may be unrelated, still. A most troubling turn of events. That's an understatement. This is, after all, an unexpected variable. An unexpected? A man is dead, Central. And as a result, probability projections have become less stable. Proceed with caution, Dr. Regis. Central doesn't give a damn, Dr. Regis. You can't condemn a computer for not having feelings. It doesn't care. Much as I hate to say it, it looks like you were right, Central. We've got a mind-jacking victim in the offices. Avery Gerbach, 32, Regional HR Supervisor. That's correct. As expected, attack patterns are matching probability mapping. It doesn't look like the mind-jacker's gotten far. There's only one other way out besides the elevator. Please continue your investigation. Swift resolution of this case will greatly enhance civic welfare. Regis out. Alrighty then. Time to explore what they were doing. You have no idea wh whether these charts mean the company is doing well or going bust. Amongst all the economics and business speak, the only world word you recognize is wetware. Okay, what's this? Oh, a telephone. Of course, it looks like a telephone. Dum dum. Arctis Dorset. That's a lot of people we can call. Philippe News. I don't want to call the news just yet. I'm gonna call everyone. Uh, hello? Do you know what time it is? Sorry, wrong number. I think I found the office manager's contact. See if he'll help us. Remember, be consistent when you're talking to him. Uh, what? Who is this? Do you have any idea what time it is? Mr. Ratwood, my name is Dr. Regis. I'm an investigator for Cell. Uh, what? I mean, what's happened? I just need to ask a couple of questions. There's some trouble at your office. It's an emergency! I probably shouldn't 
be that <laughs> hysterical. I need to ask a couple of questions. I just need to ask you a couple of questions about your workplace. Oh, Nuke. You're calling from the office. What's happened? You're not in trouble. Could you give us access to the roof? We need to get up to the roof from your office. We have reason to believe someone we're pursuing has made their way up. Oh, jeez. Well, uh, I'm the one with the code. But management's ordered me not to let people up there. That's why we've got the lock in the first place. Yeah, well, buddy, I don't care. I'm the police, so you give me the damn code. This is a serious incident, Mr. Atwood. Time is slipping away, and a serial killer might be as well. What? Really? We need your assistance to bring him in. Wait a sec. Serial killers in the Animus office? Gerbach, this is real unprofessional of you. Huh? Come on, I know you didn't want to work tonight. But there's a reason you're not allowed up on the roof. You almost had me, but pretending to be a cell agent, that's desperate. Damn. Probably could have done better. Okay, so um, I don't know if you could have uh, convinced him, and I really wanted to convince him. Hmm. Hello, it's Pat. If you wanna give me money, I'm busy. If you wanna borrow money, go away. And if you don't wanna talk about money, don't ever call me again. Cheers. Pretty straight to the point. Hello, this is Philippe. I am away on assignment at the moment for one month. If you wish to leave me a message, you can do so after the beep. Or if you have a story, please contact Okay, so I can't do anything. I, I kind of don't know where I'm going to get the code from since that guy didn't, well, wasn't convinced by my charm. A plaque identifying ownership of the office, Roy Atwood, HR operations manager. This must be who's in charge of this floor, so... Not him? His ID badge says Gerba is an HR supervisor. He doesn't have anything on him? In corporate ed have central. Okay. Locked. That keypad's probably got something to do with it. That's excellent detective work, S Sergeant Dr. Lau. Why don't you do any of the work? Uh, I don't know the code. Damn. HR ma management. There's a time and place for the trance, and it's not up the roof. Oh, so he was sneaking up on the roof to go into, go on the internet and watch kittens. Yes, it's private, but it's also extremely dangerous. Therefore, management asked me to keep the roof access locked, unless it's an emergency. FYI, trance cravings do not count as emergencies. Seriously, Avery, you're great at your job, but you need help. The management of Animus Organics would like to remind colleagues not to make statements to the press regarding product safety. An investigation into recent high-profile exponential wetware growth, or grey goo, accidents is underway and will be released when completed. Publicity Management Please be aware that tomorrow's midday UV exposure index is expected to peak at 8. Your genetic background indicates propensity to melanoma. Please take extra care in order to maintain long-term health. Well, that's pretty nice of them. The, the Newton centralized government advises you to restrict outdoor movement after sunset. To after sunset. Except where vital. Hey man, just wanted to say big grats on the engagement. She's a really swell girl and I know you guys are gonna be so happy together. Catch you after work at the den, Sal. Oh, I, I don't think he's gonna catch anything ever again. Said I was the 8th of July. And, uh, okay. So he's not gonna get married anymore. There's no attachments on either of these. Hmm. I can't send a mail. Cute B. Salman. Can I call him or anything? I wanna know where the den is. Maybe I can meet him there. Salman. Salmon. Nope, doesn't seem like it. Hmm. I've called everyone on this list, but to no result. Only this Atwood Roy. And he's blocking me now, asshole. He doesn't understand. 
Apparently the owner of this cubicle has gone home already. Okay. I can't go in? Damn. That's not going to work. But that's Roy's office. I want to get in there. This door is really starting to get on my nerves. Lau? Don't worry. I think I get where you're coming from. And who says brute force never solves anything? Not me, that's for sure. So, I don't know if you'd, you could have convinced Roy, but you either have the option to use Lau or convince Roy, I think. I don't know, but thanks, Lau. Why didn't you do that before? Lau. Yeah? Looks like we found our latest casualty. Damn it. Why him, though? I was wondering the same thing. We're assuming the Mindjacker's a data thief. The usual MO would be to target valuable info he can sell on the black market. But this guy, he was an HR administrator. Apparently a very good one, but not the kind who'd be let in on company secrets. We'll just have to ask the Mindjacker when we catch him. That body on the sidewalk. That would have been a long fall. He must have been in the wrong place at the wrong time. Came across the Mindjacker in the middle of what he was doing. Paid for it heavily, too. Let me know if you find anything. Will do, Regis. Let me know if, uh, you can do other door magic. But yeah, I kind of feel... I kind of feel that I cheated a little bit by not convincing Roy and just letting Lao use her frying mechanism or whatever. But, ayo, I'm gonna save more often now. <laughs> Without you? Uh, what? That doesn't really answer my question. What? Who is this? Do you have any idea what time it is? Mr. Ratwood, my name is Dr. Regis. I'm an investigator for Cell. Uh, what? I mean, what's happened? We're on the trail of a dangerous felon. He's killed dozens before, and without your help, he's going to escape. Oh god. What's happened? Two of your colleagues have been killed on sight. We're tracking the murderer, and we're pretty sure he's fled to the roof. What? Uh, who? We need access to the roof as quickly as possible. What's the code for the access door in your office? It's... It... Do you want cell agents bringing you in as well? All this stalling, I might think you're working with the killer. N no, I ju just... Quickly, what's the code? It's 6167. Thanks. Come on, we've almost caught up with him. The Mindjacker! Freeze! Cell agents! We're cell agents, drop the weapon, you're under arrest. Lay down your weapon and put your hands above your head. Does that ever work? Sometimes. It was worth a try. Yeah, I might as well play the cop part. The only way off this rooftop is down, either with us or over the edge. Frankly, the second one's fine by me. He's gonna jump. What the hell? What? Oh, jetpack. Just shoot him! Shoot him now! Before- Oh, it's too late. What? He had lifting gear? He's escaping by aerostat. Central, our mindjacking suspect has fled the scene by air. Interceptors dispatched. Belcourt officers have arrived on scene at Animus. Please return to headquarters for debriefing. Nuke it. We were so close. Why don't you follow the plane thing? Come on, you must have flying things. La, I... Max. What? Huh? Were you sleeping on duty? Sleep? No, I was trancing. For work, of course. Dr. Lau was submitting her case report. We were so close. Have you found the Aerostat he escaped to? No records have been found of such a vehicle. What? Radar and air traffic records show no Aerostat present at that time. 
and no communications traffic has been identified regarding the aerostat. Maybe he deleted them? Covered his tracks? That would require access to an improbable number of systems, including my own. Such an undetected intrusion into central systems is implausible. Are you saying we're lying? It is possible that you were mistaken. Human error. But we saw For it. Moment, you are advised to pursue other lines of inquiry. If you say so, something's going on here. Something's not right in this town. Oh, what's this? Ah, it must be a photo of him and his wife. Vishka and Charlie. 2066. Anything going on in the news? Nope. Your fed still has adopted the metric time. Um, uh, mail. What's this? Null. It's very important that you download and activate this package in a secure location as soon as possible. Tell no one your legacy. Should I... should I trust this? This doesn't look... maybe it looks safe. Message pack. You download the data package to your traveler. You're unsure who this might be, an informant perhaps? As much as you dislike the clock and dagger approach they've requested, you, you'll take any help you can get right now. Hmm, add to null. Hey Charlie, why are you hogging Lao so much? The rest of us need a wirehead on cases as well. You can probably guess why you're not letting go of her. Well, hey, uh, okay. But seriously, man, give the rest of us a turn. So, Lao is pretty good at technical stuff and frying doors. As per our discussion at your last checkup, you have still not opted for enhanced neuro connected wetware. Maybe he's just afraid of the mindjacker. While not yet critical, Please remember that your work, work will be increasingly difficult as support for non-WW wetware systems is phased out, so you'll need to get that matrix plug in your brain soon enough. Your monthly payment of 8100 quanta for the rental of the tier 42 Northwest Balcony Garden has been processed. Approval for... Uh, thank you for continued contribution to the city's green skyline. Ah, so we're an environmentalist, that's nice. The optical feed from your office is no longer functional. Based on past examples of your behavior, I believe that it'll likely be by your own hand. While you may object to perceived surveillance, please recall that this is for your safety and that other se and that of other cell staff. Thank you, Central. Vanderwall. Vanderwall. Subject no no no. Dr. Regis. Apparently my previous answer was unclear. No, I will not help you with your investigations, despite your crude threats. If you continue to make baseless accusations about my supposed ties I'm alleged to have with organized crime, you shall be hearing from my lawyers. Fine, dude, it's fine. Just leave me be. Dr. Petra. Where have I heard of a Dr. Petra before? I'm afraid it doesn't look good regarding Baxter. Central's approved the parole. Don't take it personally, it's not like they ignored your input, but, well, you're not exactly going to be the most objective person after what he did to you and your wife, are you? Ooh, so what did Baxter do? I think Baxter's going to be very important to the story. Hey, Lau. Yeah? Um, any other input? What do we do now? Got any ideas where we can look next? I thought you were supposed to be the lead on this case. Hmm. We could look into that other lead. What was his name? Gil Vanderwall? Yeah, that's the one. Oh yeah, so we have another lead. That guy was pretty upset with us. Looks like we found our latest casualty. Damn it. Why him, though? I was wondering the same thing. We're assuming the Mindjacker's a data thief. The usual MO would be to target valuable info he can sell on the black market. But this guy, he was an HR administrator. Apparently a very good one, but not the kind who'd be let in on company secrets. We'll just have to ask the Mindjacker when we catch him. You should have just shot him, you know, shot his jetpack or something, and it would have turned out fine, I think. Don't, don't trust me on that. Gil Vanderwall. I thought Vanderwall made it pretty clear he wasn't going to speak to us. Might just be the way you handled him. Tact is apparently not your strong point. I like to speak my mind. I'll contact him and see if he's more open to persuasion. He might cooperate if you're not there threatening him with physical injury. He's a dyed-in-the-wolf felon. He deserves worse. But if he can help us... All right. 
See what you can do. She, well, he just needs a womanly touch. But hey, my method got us the door code after a few retries. Okay, so it works. Let me know if you find anything. We'll do, Regis. We'll do, Lao. What's this? We've already got the preferences set up to how you like them. What is it, though? The screens run through all of the available data pertaining to Mindjacker, so it's like a whiteboard, I guess. Cables. Trying to tidy Lao's desk for her is a battle lost before it's even fought. That's what she says, like it was something from the art of war. It looks pretty tidy to me, dude. Waist shoot. Trying? That's... A number of cables run directly into the building's electrical and data flow systems from Lao's desk. Apparently, her customized wetware gear sometimes requires tremendous resources, and she doesn't care how many of the building's technicians complain about her pulling floors open. Hey, she, she's good for a reason, okay? Careful, if you put your arm in there, you'd lose it. If something needs to be destroyed for confidentiality reasons, this is where it goes. Anything in here is gone forever. Uh, after thorough scrutiny by Central, no doubt. Okay, so what do I have in here? Data package. What's this? I trust Max, but I know Central would hear everything in cell headquarters. The data package attached to that message. Whoever sent it wants me to open it in a private place. Hopefully it contains something that'll help us get to the Mindjacker, but I'm still suspicious. But doesn't Central kind of screen all, all our emails? Wouldn't she have seen the new email? Hmm. So where should I open this? Surgical lab. Locked. Dr. Santiago must be working on something he doesn't want me seeing. How you doing, dude? Can I talk to him? No. I can't. Stop snoozing. Stop trancing. I can see you, Lao. Uh, Santiago and Preston's office. Though you can tolerate some... Though, you can tolerate Dr. Santiago's opinions. It looks like Dr. Preston's the only one in the office. You'd rather avoid another sermon on the merits of centralized government. Alrighty. Can I open it here? I can't open it here. Central sees everything in this building. Except your emails, apparently. Well, we're just gonna have a chat with Mr... Mr. Question hey, Marks. Kid. You alright? I think he might be trancing. They picked this guy up last night. He's got something in his wiring that might be contagious. I guess that means I'm safe, but still. Poor kid. Hey, kid. No, he's not alright. There's nothing I can give him, and I don't want to give him my gun. Let's talk soon, kid. Maybe he opened a malware and stored it in his brain. That Nigerian prince got to him, probably. 150,000 quanta is a substantial amount, so... Like, you'd be a fool to refuse it, right? Right. Notices cascade across the board. You dislike the way they need to move the <laughs> they need to move all of the time, and believe that it reflects the short attention span people have in the city. Oh, reflections upon reality. Fun. Oh, I can go... Okay, Animus Balcony. That's a nice balcony. That's a nice car. Fulcrum Tower. What am I doing here? Well, this must be a quiet enough place to open when that. people worry, there's always something they find to help them. Drinking, the trance, even God sometimes. Me, I've got a place I like to go to. It's helped me when I've been troubled in the past. Oh, is this where his wife is buried? Or this may be like the smallest park in existence. That's a nice cherry tree. Is it a cherry tree? I'm not sure. Pile of leaves. It took a lot of work to make, but it was worth it. This engineered tree is the kind of memorial I think she'd appreciate. It is his wife. Oh yeah, I saw the plague. You're not in the mood for gardening. The tree's usual constitution causes it to shed its leaves more often than a natural specimen. You diligently tend to the mess it makes as often as work allows. Wow, that's a, this is a really nice space. Anything in the locker? It's empty. Hmm. I wonder if I can hide in it. Seems like a, a Regis-sized locker. Not even having to glance for a moment, those words are etched in a memory deeper than anything else. Vishka Regis, beloved wife, friend to all that lives. 11th August 23rd. 34 and died in 2067. 
Think of us not as engineers, but as artists. So maybe she was like a natural artist, like she built landscapes like these? Better not move it, it's where it ought to be. Okay, let's open the message from the stranger. Here goes nothing. Dr. Regis. Yes? Regis? Central's still giving us a negative on the aerostat. It's like it just vanished. So I thought I'd better give you a heads up. Do you mind? I was in the middle of something. How did you find me? Central told me you'd be here, at Fulcrum Tower. Also, it said, stop turning your traveler off. What a surprise. I like my privacy, though. That's why I come here. You hang around the balconies much? It's a memorial. I come here sometimes. I come up here from time to time. I can see why. It's a great view. Not for someone with a fear of heights, though. Lau, you kind of, like, go away. Is it a private garden? Max, I... Viksha Regis. Charlie, this is... I'm sorry. I, I didn't know. You shouldn't. I don't tell anyone. Wow. I know you've got some seriously high up strings you can pull, but I didn't think they'd ever let someone be buried up here. And how the hell can you afford somewhere like this? Viksha. She's not buried here. I figured she wouldn't be buried here. It's just like a memorial remembrance place. We were married for four years. I'm sorry it couldn't last. We met in our professions. She was a gen engineer as well. You didn't have kids? My previous work... well, it left both of us infertile. We had embryos prepared through IVF, but we never got to using them. I'm really sorry. I remember reading... it was Baxter, wasn't it? Don't push it, Dr. Lau. Sorry. She's, uh... she's not here. She isn't buried up here. She was... processed, like anyone else. I see. The tree's special, though. I made it myself, from scratch. Planted and grew? No, made. It's a cross of Chrysophyllum canato and Prunus serrulata. The junk DNA in every cell of it contains her entire genome. Wow. Takes a lot of looking after. But you're doing it for her. Makes it all worth it. I think I figured out why you went off the grid to come up here tonight. You heard about Baxter, didn't you? They let a monster like that walk. They didn't parole him because they approve of what he did. He's out because he's got skills Central thought would be useful. With a governor jammed in his limbic system, well, he won't be the same man. He can't even imagine hurting anyone again. Even if it were completely true, I know that there is absolutely no way I could forgive him. On the bright side, he'd probably be pretty mad at you too. Well, if he could have thoughts like that anymore without falling over and puking, you put him away, and that counts for something. I know it's not exactly normal for you to open up, but if you want someone to talk to, I... Central wants us? I'm afraid so. We better get going. But no, I... Mm, was it a timed event? I hope you not. You coming? Just a minute, Max. I was really in the middle of something. I just need a moment to think, Max. A little privacy? It's why I came up here in the first place. I understand, Charlie. I'll be in the car. I'll see how long I can stall Central. I Max, just need a minute. I... Yes? Nothing. That's alright, Charlie. I understand. I'll be in the car. I can't ask for her help in this. I'm not even sure what this is yet. You are alone, as requested? Yes. Now what is this about? 1448D-A, 1448D-B, 1448D-C, 1448D-E. Excuse me? Your stomach lurches as you recognize the image. You know them, you've seen them before, you hadn't remembered them by number. Oh, are these his and his wife's embryos or something? Whoever is calling you has four embryo containers, your own. He's gonna what smash them. They were removed from the El Rassis Medical Center, originally deposited at 1615 on the 11th of November 2065. They have been fertilized by yourself and Dr. Viksha Regis. They were frozen at the earliest viable phase of growth. Three are female, and one is male. They were deposited after your fertility treatment proved- Stop! Why are you telling me this? Who are you? And what are you doing with my kid- my embryos? You are about to meet with a contact, Gil Vanderwall. 
In his home is an active memory module, a most unique model. You will secure it for us. Further instructions will follow. What if I refuse? And what if I don't? That image could be a sim. Apparently, you no, no, oh, are incentive fuck. I shouldn't not have to waste that. my time. One is gone. Three remain. Do it quickly. Your legacy is in jeopardy. A conflict brews in your mind and in your heart. Giving in to blackmail like this would be the antithesis of everything you stand for, both as an agent of the law and as a human being. On the other hand, you cannot bring yourself to risk a small part of the legacy that you've worked for so many years to maintain. To save the lives of our children? I think I can accept that. Well, you already kind of killed one of my unborn babies. What a prick. I probably shouldn't have taunted him. But it was so tempting. So, despite the incident at Animus, I may have some good news. We might have a break in that string of mindjackings. Vanderwall agreed to talk. I, uh, yeah. How'd you guess? He couldn't hold out forever. What did he say? Didn't want to talk over the... Lau? Central wants a word. Dr. Rangis, Dr. Lau. This isn't just a social call for an update, is it, Central? Dr. Rangis, lately you have spent a great deal of your time off network. It is for your safety and that of the citizens that we... Central? All points bulletin, evacuation in progress at Barber's Gate Transit Station. Case officers Regis and Lau assigned to crisis management. What's happening at the... All case data has been transferred to Dr. Lau. Your vehicle has been rerouted. Please seek an expedient resolution to the situation. Central out. Business like as ever. Let's go see what this is about. So many things happen at once, Jesus. What's wrong? Barber's Gate Station. What happened? Sir, over here! I'm Dr. Regis. This is Dr. Lau. We've been assigned as crisis management. Corpse Mandarian, 4th Network. Has it gotten any worse? Not yet, but we've not heard any word since... Hey, I'm the only one here who hasn't got wiring in his head. Central hasn't had the decency to update me. Oh, sorry, Charlie. Well, it's another one, sir. Another what? A, uh, bomber. What do you mean, another one? This is like the fourth this year I know of. Central's been doing its best to keep public awareness down. I guess it doesn't want public panic about it. Or it doesn't want people to think we haven't got it under control. So how do you know about it? I talk to people? I've got a social life, unlike someone. Central marked him when he tripped the chroma sensor. Central locked down the trains and started an evacuation. It looks like he panicked and holed up in one of them. Interesting. Hostages? I think everyone's been evacuated, but you never know. Anyone in danger? Any hostages? Central's not mentioned any in the case file. That either means there aren't any... Or it doesn't consider them sufficiently important. Probably wants the transit running again more than it cares about human life. Sounds like he was surprised. Didn't have time to take any. He's not thinking in terms of hostages. He was made as a weapon. Regis? He's a bio-bomber. The explosives are made of... They are... His bones. That's how he tripped a DNA sensor. What? So his whole body is the bomb. And not in... It's the bomb. Well, it's literally the bomb. What's your take on it, Dr. Lau? Honestly, it's looking pretty lousy for him. Doesn't look like he's got any human shields. I doubt an empty transit station was his intended target either. Very astute. Charlie, we, uh... You're not gonna like this. Central's just bumped the priority. It wants the suspect neutralized. What? I'm gonna try and talk him down. I'm gonna buy us some time. Oh, there's so many decisions in this game. I didn't expect it to be a decision... decision town. I don't want to kill him... that much. Neutralized is a vague term. I'm gonna try to talk him down. Regis? It sounds like he's hesitating. I may be able to exploit that. But just in case, get to high ground. Fine. You probably know what you're doing. The signal is hope. Don't fire until you hear me say it. Hope. Got it. Keep the public away, and run one more check for bystanders in the station. We can't afford casualties if this goes wrong. Will Central approve of this? We don't have time to wait and find out. Wish me luck. 
I'm a rogue police officer. With a, a pension for saving human life, of course. Hi, bomber. Please let me save first. Hello? Who's there? I just want to talk. I'm unarmed, and I'm opening the doors. What do you want, heathen? The sight is distressingly familiar. The brace, the weakened bones, the signs of tampering in a young man that brings back memories long buried. It seems that the best hope would be to leverage what you know about him. Try to find some common ground. I don't know anything about him. I should have talked to Lao. You sound American. I'm here to resolve this. My name's Dr. Regis. I'm a cell case specialist. Central wants me to clear this up. Want to tell me about yourself? I am a warrior for God and for justice. I am his hammer and weapon of war. With me, he breaks nations. With me, he destroys kingdoms. You may call me Thomas. Thomas, the hammer of God. So, how do you like the city? It's a wretched den of sin, like Sodom or Gomorrah. Well, it's not my favorite, but I wouldn't go that far. I take it you're not here as a tourist. I'm here to do my duty and strike a blow for the Lord. Really? We're a long way out from the war here. Whole other continent, in fact. I... yes, I know. But now I'm surrounded, and I must make use of what I have. The fire within me! Well, I don't see anyone around you except me, and um, because I'm not a very good negotiator, I get the feeling that I'm gonna die pretty fast. How's the scoliosis? <laughs> you can't just ask him that. You need medical help, you're not going to last very long. How's the scoliosis? You need medical help. You don't look well. It's a common side effect of sloppy prenatal genetic engineering. That, and having your body lay explosive nitrates in your bones instead of calcium. I don't want your pity. It shows just how little the Gengineers who made you cared about your health. They made you to walk and to carry a bomb in your bones. Though my body is weak, my spirit is stronger than ever. Oh, we're gonna... Ooh. Lao is a sniper now. Is he gonna shoot him? Won't Regis, he explode? Visibility good. Zero crosswind. Standing by. There have been times when I've lost faith, but I can't let this be one of them. I've oh hope. Oh, I can kill him at any time. I've had experience with you guys. You're trying to work out your next move. Don't do anything stupid. I know how you're thinking. You're wondering what you can do next. I can always sacrifice myself. For what? But all that'll do is wreck a train, and maybe kill one cell agent. There are other options. You just need to know that they are available. You've been used. Your mission is over. There's no escape. You've been used. Manipulated. Your genes were altered before you were even born. You never had a choice. It's a test of my faith! Your parents probably didn't have a choice either. If they didn't agree to do it for religious reasons, well... I know that warlords can find even worse ways to persuade people. They... it... Oh my god, so people are engineering the embryos to be pretty much future suicide bombers with bombs in, in their genes. That's horrible. I can protect you, I need to take you in. Surrender while you can. You know why I'm in here? As a spout for Babylon's lies? I'm here to prevent a waste of life. If it was up to Central, a select team would have you shot down already. I'm here because I care. Because I don't want anyone to die. All life is valuable. Mine, yours, the people of this city. There are still the enemies of... I know how you feel about your mission. But it'd still be a waste if your life was ended. Simply because Central got jumpy over what you might do. It's been a difficult, complex day. Apparently, I haven't been able to change your mind. You can never mislead the truly faithful. In that case, I'm truly sorry. And I hope you'll forgive me. You think you can. Oh, but now I really want to know if I can convince him. Damn it, game! Regis! You okay? Yeah, I... Let's just go. Corpsman, get in touch with Central. Don't move the body until the bomb squad gets here. Yes, Doctor.
No, no, I'm not okay with this. You sound like you're from America. Am I right? Texas, I'd guess. Yes, you're right. I thought so. I grew up there myself, near Fort Worth. What part do you hail from? H Houston. I can remember what it's like out there. It's part of why I came here in the first place. I'm Dr. Regis, by the way. Some folk call me Charlie. Thomas Beckett. Like the saint. Nice to meet you all, Thomas. So, how do you like the city? It's a wretched den of sin. Like Sodom or Gomorrah. Well, it's not my favorite, but I wouldn't go that far. I take it you're not here as a tourist. I'm here to do my duty and strike a blow for the Lord. Really? We're a long way out from the war here. Whole other continent, in fact. I... yes, I know. But now I'm surrounded, and I must make use of what I have. The fire within me! How's the scoliosis? I... what? And the osteoporosis, the rickets, and the diabetes. How do you... It's a common side effect of sloppy prenatal genetic engineering. That, and having your body lay explosive nitrates in your bones instead of calcium. It's a test of our faith. Only the truly worthy who can... It shows just how little the engineers who made you cared about your health. They made you to walk and to carry a bomb in your bones. The fact that you're a living, feeling, thinking human was merely an inconvenience. Visibility good, zero crosswind. Standing by. There have been times when I've lost faith, but I can't let this be one of them. I used to work with guys like you a whole lifetime ago. The Lord's Warriors? Something like that. Kids who'd been altered, weaponized youth. You've grown up with so many health problems, groomed since birth for a noble sacrifice. But this... Does this seem like the glorious role you were promised? It is my duty to God to sacrifice myself. In an empty transit station, thanks to a piece of bad luck? This wasn't where I was supposed to go. But even the original target, it doesn't seem to fit with God's plan. But if I agreed to go with you, I'd have failed in my duty. I'd just be a prisoner in a strange land. For the Lord hears the needy and does not despise his own people who are prisoners. Psalm 69, verse 33. You're right. Wherever I am, I'm always in the Lord's sight. There are more ways to do his work than destruction. We can help you find it. We can probably even fix your bones. All right. I shall not resist. Thomas, you've made a wise choice. More importantly, you've made it for yourself. Oh, yes. Nailed it. I knew you could save him. Corpsman, the suspect has surrendered. Take him into custody. Carefully. Yes, Doctor. Regis, that was amazing! Central's going to be pissed, though. That was a huge risk. Screw Central. Come on. We've got work to do. The corpsman can handle it here. Yeah, with a little help from the bomb squad. I just hope he doesn't blow up and kill everyone in the police station. Maybe that was a mistake, but I wanted to save him. I think I did the right choice. And screw Central! <laughs>